It is no secret that the events of the last couple of years have changed the interactive landscape of the world. Here in Wyoming, we are a bit more insulated than some more densely populated areas, but life has changed here as well. One of the biggest things that's changed is how we work. As a realtor, my work has always moved with me, so to speak. Now with the massive shift enabling employees to work remotely, just about anyone's work really can move just about anywhere you wanna go, including Wyoming, whether visiting or moving here. Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with Remax The Group and the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team. If you want to relocate and are able to bring your employment with you, I can help you with the relocation part and the part about finding a home. I would love to chat with you about that. Many people have an antiquated idea of what Wyoming is like. All horses and tumbleweeds with no modern amenities in sight. Yes, I do ride horses and yes, there are plenty of tumbleweeds, but we do have modern amenities. We may not have as many as large cities in other states at least, not as many options, but we have definitely entered the modern world. If you are considering moving here for life, but bringing your work with you, you might be concerned about your internet options. And a lot of you have asked me about this. So you can keep up with those back in the office. Maybe you just want to know if you can watch your favorite Netflix series without pesky glitches. Either way, reliable high-speed internet has become a must in our society and Wyoming is no different. So what exactly are the internet options around here? The two most common are Spectrum Internet and CenturyLink. Both offer reliable high-speed service in or near Casper and larger cities and towns. Of course, since some of our areas are a bit more rural, there are actually a couple satellite-based internet companies available. I'm not sure what it's like in some of the larger cities in your area, but in Wyoming, the internet service available to you can depend on your address. Let's cover Spectrum Internet first. If you are a new customer, there's always a catch, right? Spectrum offers speeds up to 100 megabytes per second, Mbps starting at $49.99 for your first 12 months. After that, it goes up by 25 per month to a total of $74.99. They also have up to 400 more megabytes for $20 more, so $69.99 for a year and then $94.99 after that. They even have up to one gigabyte for $109.99 and then $134.99 after that. Spectrum might be a great choice if you live in town or right outside of town. What about further out in more rural areas? Well, I just plugged in an address in rural Evansville, where I live, and it's outside Spectrum's service area. CenturyLink offers DSL service at pretty good rates, only $50 a month, but service speeds are typically quite a bit lower. Their website states that they offer speeds up to 100 megabytes, but it also lists a range of 15 to 100 megabytes. At two of the addresses I checked, one is up to 20 megabytes and the other one was only 15. The third address I checked, which is included in Spectrum's area, was not included in CenturyLink service area, nor was the rural property in Evansville. So what is available in Evansville? HughesNet satellite internet is available and at 20 megabytes per second is comparable to CenturyLink. But while CenturyLink is limited, the HughesNet service prices are based on gigabyte usage. Their rates range from $59 per month for 10 gigabytes up to $129.99 per month for 50 gigabytes. There are other satellite services such as Viastat with rates ranging from 70 to 150 per month. Visionary Broadband is a local provider and I couldn't get a direct answer about the specific address from an internet search. All of the major zip codes in and around Casper lead to an additional screen which asks for authorization to check on this. If Visionary is available, they offer $55 for speeds up to 25 megabytes per second, about $60 for speeds up to 50 megabytes per second, and $79.95 for up to 100 megabytes per second. Mountain West Technologies, a local company offering high-speed wireless internet service starting at $39.95 per month for 15 megabytes per second, about $50 for 30, $59.95 for 50, and $75 for 100. 
they offer broadband and fiber internet services. This is another option that may or may not be available depending on your location and address. You would think that living inside city limits means no limits on internet options, but that isn't the case. I have a friend who lives in the area we call Paradise Valley. Due to the location of their house, as of six months ago, Mountain West wasn't available for her. Since they are a local Wyoming business with several good reviews, she was super bummed that their service couldn't reach her home. Mountain West recently acquired Allure Tech and is building new towers all over town where service is available. They offer speeds from 15 megabytes per second up to 100 megabytes per second. Now, the upload speed is 5 and 20 on those plans as well. Mountain West is who I use out in the country where I live. We may have fewer options than some larger cities, but we do have several. Don't worry about being too far out of touch if you do end up moving to Wyoming. Our internet options have you covered, not to mention all of the friendly people you will meet. Make sure you don't count Casper out if you're looking for an amazing place to live and work, whether work is here or you bring it with you. We are so thankful that you watch our videos on YouTube and we'd love for you to subscribe and hit the bell so you are notified every time we drop a new video. We want you to love where you live. See you soon.